Good Thursday morning, afternoon, evening. Let's see how I covered that up. <laughs> Thursday, September 14th, 2017. Hello, welcome in to uh, Talking Fitchburg. Hope you're having a wonderful day out there. Yes, I'm back. And yes, that uh, laugh was the world famous hey. Andrew Hamlet oh in bars and tone. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get the right camera up there. Hey, good morning. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. Good afternoon. You, That's my motto today. You've been gone the last two days. I've been gone the last three. Welcome yeah. back. Preston's been newsrooming it up. That's Thank all you, I can Preston, say. Thank you, Preston, for holding down the fort. Yeah, Whoa. I got a newsroom on Monday, and then uh, he got uh, the other two. So giving him the day off so he can get caught up with his stuff. And, yep. uh, yeah, you get me the rest of the week and Andrew. Boom. Heaven forbid. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're like, oh boy. Click. Oh boy. Turn. Bye. Bye. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, well, glad to have you back in. And yes. uh, boy, th it was a beautiful week. So I went up, uh, got a little mini vacation in to some golfing and some fishing okay. for two days. And yep. uh, the weather was absolutely perfect. Couldn't be any better. Sounds good. And uh, yeah, uh, by the way, here, let me just uh, just pull this up here. I'm little about, sunburn. I'm a little red from about here to my shoulders. I thought it'd be a good idea to lift a shirt up and tuck it in without any suntan <laughs> lotion. And pfft. Yeah, that was a good idea, huh? So I, I almost went the whole summer without getting burnt, and then boom, I'm hit with it. Good job. I had to hit the aloe hit last in night. In September. <laughs> in September, I know. Well, that's just how nice out it was. So uh -huh. got a little red in the face, too, but that's that's a deal. You know, I can deal with there that. You but the yep. show, you know, the arms are a little sore today. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, it was just really nice out there. So let's enjoy it. And, uh, by the way, ton of the leaves have changed up north, in I case bet. you were wondering. I bet. So, uh, yeah, you're going to want to start getting out there now and seeing it. But I just went the other way this morning, mm -hmm. like out of Sauk County, that area, and those ones haven't changed yet. Okay. So gotcha. it's like hit or miss. Right. But the northern, more north you go, the northern part seems mm -hmm. like they're uh, they're well on their way. So lovely. Yeah. That's cool. there's your <laughs> there's your round your state update. Yeah. How oh, about Cambridge? Yeah. Anything in Cambridge changing? No. No? It's all good. It's all good in the hood? Okay. All good in the hood. Cool. Well, let's uh, tell you what's going on <laughs> in uh, Fitchburg, not in uh, Cambridge. Let's do it. Uh, coming up, we got uh, some headlines for you, uh, and uh, we'll get to those in just a little bit. It's uh, Mold Awareness Month, if you didn't know that. I didn't Sweet. know until I found this story, but uh, now I know. It's Mold Awareness Month, so we'll tell you a little bit about mold. Pretty timely, too, after the two hurricanes, when you got some uh, property down in the two affected areas. We'll tell you about that. And uh, then we're going to uh, head over to our friends at the uh, Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection talking about the Equifax. Were you a part of that data breach, Andrew? Have you checked yet? I don't think I was. I am going to be checking because I'm fairly certain that it probably is. <laughs> and uh, we'll wrap it up with the national holidays. Either way, it's really good. Timely information, I have to say. Indeed. So uh, I always like talking with Frank. So we've got that coming up for you in just a little bit. But first, we kick it off with headlines in the Fitchburg Police Department. We're investing in armed robbery. Here we go. On uh, September 13th at approximately 7.58 p.m., officers from the Fitchburg Police Department were dispatched to the 4900 block of uh, Chalet Gardens Road for a report of an armed robbery. 31-year-old male victim reported two suspects approached him, pushed a, a handgun into his side, and demanded his money. The victim reported that the two suspects went through his pockets, took his wallet and cell phone, and then told him to run away. No injuries were reported. The suspects, the suspects are described as black males, approximately 25 years old, with slender builds, wearing white tank tops and black jeans. If anyone has information regarding this incident, they're urged to contact the Fitchburg Police Department at 270-4300. You can call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at 266-6014. Remember, you can head out to the Fitchburg's website, fitchburgwi.gov. Click on Public Safety, or you can search Police Department, but they've got uh, crime tips there that uh, you can send in as well. All right, uh, from the city of Fitchburg, uh, notice of uh, accepting seal bids and bid openings. This was sent out yesterday as well. Notice is hereby given that the city of Fitchburg is accepting sealed bids uh, for sale of King James Way Fire Station Land building located at 5415 King James Way. This is is this is called there as is sale. I'm doing that in quote, <laughs> quotes here. 
as is sale. Bids will be received at the City Hall or uh, here at 5520 Lacey Road, Fitchburg, uh, Wisconsin, until noon on Tuesday, October 24th, 2017. The minimal bid, Andrew, you may be asking? Yes. 900000 So you got to start there. Start there. Uh, bid openings will uh, commence at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, October 24th at City Hall, uh, City of Fitchburg, City Hall Common Council Chamber, 5520 Lacey Road. And uh, the City of Fitchburg retains the right to reject all, any or all submitted bids and reserves the right to future negotiate with the highest bidder. I'm going to see this, head out to the website. It's right there on the main page for you uh, if you're interested in a little bit more about those bids. All right, uh, we're switching over to events coming up now. It's a great Halloween hunt. Yeah, it's already time to talk about that. Can you Woo! believe it? Whew, no. It's coming up. And we're going to be there. We oh, were invited right. again. So uh, I already got my Halloween costume. Do you? Yep. I know I'm not going to tell you I'm yet. not telling you either, but I know what it is. If it's a firefighter, you already ordered that last year. No, it's not. <laughs> Something different? All right. Yep. This is at the uh, Fitchburg Public Library, 5530 Lacey Road. As you can tell, it's a fun, fun evening. Cost is free. Uh, and basically, you're going to come out and uh, have some fun. Fitchburg Library uh, hunt. Uh Pumpkin, this is written weird, but the ninth annual Great Halloween Hunt is a free event for all ages that include scavenger hunt, crafts, games, a movie, balloon twists, treats, entertainment uh, are featured, and as well as stopping by the Fact TV area and get your picture taken and get on that green screen. Who do on the green screen? Have we decided? We always, we always try to change it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll use it. So stop on by, and you'll get to see what Andrew is, and you'll get to see what I am. I'm going with a classic, this is going to be your only hint, a classic cartoon character. Nice. Actually, the whole family is. Mine's a very a uh, in-seasoned um, type of vegetable. <laughs> type of vegetable? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, okay then. We'll uh, find out. <laughs> well, speaking of vegetables, the Fitchburg Farmer's Market uh, is happening today from 3 to 6 p.m. at the Acora Pavilion. Maybe you'll see Andrew there in his costume. <laughs> it's at 5511 East Shore Parkway. The cost for event is free, but of course, you know, you're shopping at the Fitchburg Farmer's Market. And just to name a few things that they have going on there right now. You've got uh, produce, clean sweet corn, tomatoes, uh, organic selection, uh, European pastries, arson cheese, honey, kettle corn. I saw apples on a different list this morning, so they kind of update it, too, as it goes along. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there'll be pumpkins, too. Those got to be starting to come out right now. All right. Are your kids cyber safe? Do you know, Andrew? Good safe. Oh, we've had the talk. <clears throat> You've had the talk. We've had the talk and made sure they know what they're doing out there. Fantastic. Well, here's a uh, event that I found on the uh, Fitchburg Chambers uh, website, and it's uh, it's Are Your Kids sa uh, Cyber Safe? This will be held on uh, September 21st at 6 o'clock p.m. at the St. James School, uh, 1204 St. James Court, Madison. Cyber Safety Security, uh, or excuse me, Cyber Safety, Cyber Security, Kids Online Safety uh, is uh, it's going to be a uh, the Wisconsin Women's Health Foundation, St. James School, and ISC IT specialists are proud to host a free community education event uh, on uh, cyber safety. Cyber crimes, especially preying on children and youth, is a growing threat that many families face. Together, we'll help raise awareness and connect and empower parents with the tools they need to keep their families safe in this digital age that their kids are growing up in. If you want to find out more information, I got this from the uh, website of, again, the Chambers, but uh, or Chambers website, excuse me. And again, it's Thursday, September 21st. By the way, that day is super busy. There is a slew of events going on, as our uh, co-hosts would say, slew of events. All right, last bit, or uh, well, two more events. Two, sorry, two more. Slowing it up here. Walk for Wishes is coming back uh, here to the Fitchburg area. It's going to be held on September 23rd from 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. at McKee Farms Park. You know where that is. Uh, basically, if you want to uh, sign up for this, uh, you can head out to their website. But uh, the 5K family event makes a wish walk for wishes. Figure that one out. Uh, by helping uh, make a wish come true, by participating in the 5K run 2k mile walk or wheelchair race kids dash and family fun day register today to start raising uh, pledges the more pledges raised the more wishes we can grant and the more you'll help children living with life-threatening medical conditions 
it's easy. All you have to do is head over to their website and uh, you'll be good to get signed up and go for this event. It's a fun one. They keep coming back to Fitchburg, which is awesome. All right, now, last but not least, an evening with the red and blue gala. Yeah, these are our friends with, uh, I believe, Make-A-Wish, isn't that? Or Make-A-Wish. <laughs> Reach a child. Sorry, I had that wish on my mind there. Uh, you're cordially invited on uh, September 23rd. So first you go to Walk for Wishes, then you go to this. This is why I'm uh, getting these confused here. Uh, this event kicks off at 5 o'clock at the brand new West Fire Station at 2931 Marketplace Drive in Fitchburg. Yeah, we just saw a whole bunch about this fire station. Uh, tickets range between $75 and $125. You need to pre-purchase these in, in uh Basically, it is the evening of red and blue benefiting the gala for Reach a Child. And uh, this is the 10th anniversary of this. So uh, it's going to be a, a lot of fun, a lot of stuff uh, happening there. So here's what it is. Uh, tickets for uh, individuals are $75. Couple tickets are $125. And ticket includes reception, dinner, dessert, beer, and wine. Cocktail attire requested. And this is a 21 and older event. So also they've got, uh, si I said silent auction, they've got uh, uh, some uh, fun programs and again, benefiting Reach a Child, which we've had on this show quite a few times. So uh, lots of fun there. So if you wanna get signed up and cool, that is right here in the city of Fitchburg. Timely indeed. All right, that is your headlines on this nice, nice week. Very warm out there. Get outside and enjoy yourselves, but wait till after the show. Coming up next, we're gonna talk a little bit about mold. Yeah, if you've had problems with water, your basement, your home, or wherever, now's the time as it's uh, Mold Awareness Month. We'll talk about it next right here on Talking Fitchburg.